Hello, welcome to Maths Dave's Calculator Unboxing Extravaganza. I'm here with the uh, Casio FX7400G2, which uh, we've just got. I've uh, managed to savage the box and uh, finally get the calculator out. Um, all sorts of excitement here, so let's let's have a look at how it, it works. We've got a uh, high resolution display, 64 by 128 dots. Wow, beat that iPhone. And uh, there you go, power graphic. Let's see if this can match up to the mighty 9750G2 uh, in terms of the things it can do. So let's um, let's get going with the calculator. We uh, we need to put some batteries in. Here we are. Oh, there we go. Um, so out come the batteries. And. Uh, There goes the uh, there goes the camera. Um, oh, am I still in shot? Who knows? <laughs> there we are. Open up the back. Ah, stiff lid. There we go. I uh, yeah, maybe should have got the batteries ready before starting the video. Right, there we go, let's uh, power this thing on. Oh, put the, put the lid on. Comes with a sturdy slide case, which uh, slides on that way if you want to do some uh, calculator stuff, or the other way if you want to keep your precious 7400G2 safe. We've got loads of other stuff in the packing. Here we've got um, leaflets and stuff. This one says Schnell Start Lang Leitung on the front of it, and this one that's Snab Start Guide. They um, quick start guide. That's a quick start guide. Is what that means in other languages. CD, some nice calculator music there, and uh, a bit of cardboard. Right, should we turn it on? So here we go. We've got. The, uh, the main menu on this Casio, you'll notice if you're familiar with the 9750G2 that we have fewer things up here to work with, fewer options. Um, we seem to be missing things like the dynamic graphing one. Um, if we go into the main run menu then everything works pretty much the same. Let's check 2 times 5 equals 10. It does pretty good going there. Um, and something like, let's see, are we in radians mode or degrees? Looks like we might be in radians mode. Sine of 30. Um, so let's do sine of pi by 6. Oh, we seem to have pressed E instead of pi. Pi by 6, there we go. And we get a half, so it's doing it in radians mode. Of course, this calculator won't have the natural on display if we do sine of pi by 3. We get 0.866, not root 3 over 2. So then we go to start with. We've got to spend um, possibly twice as much to get a calculator that will handle that. Of course, we can do any kind of graphing on here. So in the graph menu, let's do y equals x squared, the classic, to start off with. And there it is, nice screen, very, very similar to the 9750G2 and all that kind of thing. Uh, now, if you just want to solve uh, an equation like y equals, uh, what, what could we have? x squared plus, or x squared minus 2 equals 0, something like that. You could uh, simply do x squared minus 2, sub it in there, draw it, and then do g solve and root. And there we've got minus 1.4 and plus 1.414. Of course, we're not getting um, third values out of that, but there we go, that's very nice. Um, so it will do that there. Now let's see if it's got an equation solver. Here we go. And we can do a polynomial of degree two. And let's do x squared plus five x plus six. So I've typed one, five, and six into there. Solve, there we go, minus 2 and minus 3 is the roots, 
very nicely done and repeat to do that again. We've also got cubics that we can solve in there or we could do the same thing with some simultaneous equations um, by entering them in the form ax plus by plus c or ax plus by equals c, sorry, both equations and it would solve them. So that's all present and correct, the same as the 9750G2. Um, in stat mode we've got some pretty good things going on here. If we want to do uh, let's just have a look here. We've got no data in here at the moment. We've got all the regression options that we've uh, had from other things in there. Um, and uh, that is it, the um, 74000G2. I'm quite excited about how much we can do with this. Thank you. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> And uh...